I teach in the business department because I teach a class called Foundations of Computer Applications. In Foundations of Computer Applications, we have the elementary introductory classes with Microsoft Office products, particularly PowerPoint and Excel. My bachelor's degree is in radio and television production. My master's degree is in English. And somewhere in, in my junior year in college, when I was working in the television world, I thought, you know, I could do radio. Radio would be fun. I would love to do radio. That would be fun. But the television world, there's a lot more stress relative to the kinds of productions we were doing. We were doing a lot of live productions. And so I thought, I don't know that I want to do this for a living. Let's see, what else do I like? I really like stories. I like reading. I like stories. Maybe I'll be an English teacher. And so that took me into my master's degree in English. And then from there, because I had a communications background, I was able to teach speech communications as well. And then ECA, back in the day, was uh, the combination between the, the English public speaking part and the business office, Microsoft Office part. And those kinds of things got combined a couple of years ago. And I was lucky enough to be able to do both of them, to do the, the speech part of it and the introduction to, to office. One of the things that, that we like to do, that my family likes to do quite a bit, is to sail sailboats and we have a we have a number of different sailboats two of our kids have small butterflies which are really small i think they're about eight or ten foot long sail sailing boats they have a single sail but my wife and i typically sail our i-20 which is a racing scow and we we sail up an indian lake which is near wapakoneta ohio which is the home of neil armstrong so that's what we like to do in the summertime in particular. We do a lot of sailing. And how they made the steak. And I said, huh, that's interesting. So I bought myself some cast iron skillets. And I learned how to make steak the way they make steak at an Outback Steakhouse. Steak from the land down under. And I looked on the interweb. I don't know if you know about this thing. The interweb. And it's got the thing. Like I just looked up Outback Steak Rub and found a recipe for an Outback type steak rub so I've, I use that recipe for the steak rub and I go to the Costco to get the, the steak because Costco has really good steak and that's how I make the steak. 